Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of 4 Red Flood as Germany. Let's continue on for last stuff. off. So, we are doing A-OK, -okay, I would say. We're by far the most powerful nation on Earth. Um, you don't do anything, but you allow us to get more political power, but we're already at 2,000, so I'm, I'm guessing that it's not very important that we make that a little bit higher. I still don't think any of these do anything. Other than it gives people some opinion boost, but it, it doesn't really actually help us. Dude, let's go for like, I guess the monthly population. I really don't know uh, what else makes sense. Does it say when my cost belly expires? It doesn't. If I just fight a war goal against you, it'll take 10 days. You know what? Once this is ready to go, it'll take 140 days. But I think once it's ready to go, we just invade the British. All of our colonies down here, like Somalia, Central Africa, doesn't really matter. If we lose them, we lose them. It doesn't actually make a big difference to me. I mean, I have 7.86 million manpower. We are on stress by requirements. The US is on extensive, and Russia is also on extensive, but they only have like less than 300,000 manpower, which is incredibly bad for Russia. Okay, so let's get the final level of decryption. We're losing fuel, but it's still gonna take us five years to actually run out, so I'm pretty sure at this point we're fine on that. Like, how close is Russia to today? And they're at 49%. Why are you over here? I do not understand why you are down here when your front line is up here to the north. I would, I would like an explanation, please, and thank you. So I think we gotta do a push to Petrograd. You know, you guys here, I think you can be more aggressive than the other people. Hungary's calling back their forces, which I think were this, was this purple line. Maybe now Blue's kind of understood what's happening. That's my hope, at least. There's still a decent chance they have no idea what's happening. Uh, so let's go over here. We can probably actually surround Petrograd. And if we can do that, we can start a start a siege. I'm pretty sure nothing bad has ever happened with that. Um, armor divisions. We can go for the 1945, but I think we're kind of okay with that. Last level of marines. Seems good. You know, make our marines as best as humanly possible. Oh, I deleted the naval plan. God damn it. Okay, well... That's entirely my own fault. I apologize for that. Um, that's just me just clicking really badly. So let's get some aircraft carriers.
Everybody's still attacking, right? Yes. Uh, people in Finland, you can attack again. Is Petrograd fallen? They've got to be close, right? 37? We're still not actually that close. There's a naval invasion coming in northwest Germany. Gotta be a Conway rating, I think. Yes. Make sure if those Germans, or I guess the Americans, try to leave the invade down here. We kind of just like destroy them. Also, what we do need is. I'm gonna play these 16 divisions. You are now gonna be basically part of a police force. Because we do need to occupy some of this land. We do not, unfortunately, own it. And it's actually destroying a lot of our factories. So if you'd be so kind as to occupy back here, that would be swell. I don't know how many men you need for that right now. Sixty-three. Okay, well, we have you have sixteen. I hope you can make do with that. Where's the current Russian capital? It's in Nizhny Novgorod, which looks very, very undefended at the moment. God, your front line's so big. Uh, please shrink down to literally just be like right here. Blue line, please go like this. Pink line's gonna shrink down to here. Red line, I still think, is okay for now. What guys, what could you even do? I guess you can push your way up to Finland, like, take the Helsinki from the back. I mean, that's theoretically a possibility that you could do. Let's go build more battleships. Did they invade yet? No. Assuming the naval invasion is still actually coming. Which I assume it is. I don't really have a reason to uh, suspect otherwise. Okay, let's build some basic medium batteries, I guess. If we take Nizhny Novgorod... Will that be enough for... You guys to give up? I hope so. Also, if we can actually close in like this... Um a gap that would be great i'm assuming supplies right now are no they're actually surprisingly okay i was really expecting them to be very very bad but some more air superiority in the North Sea as well. Just uh, trying to make sure the Americans don't do anything too silly. So we, like, we've definitely got to kind of reorganize th these front lines. They're not looking so great. Well that... I don't think this is gonna be enough for Russia to fall. And I'm assuming Russia is probably one of the bigger factors in uh, the army size. The United States is fighting most of the army. Russia is actually probably 37. Most of them is actually coming from Siberia. Somehow. 
Don't ask me how, because I do not know. We have Novgrad as well. It's worth five. You're at 32%. What's your new capital according to the game? It's not this, because that is the Baltic government. Is it Novgrad? I mean, if city's here, if city's here. Oh, no, it's, uh, like Archangel over here. Because of course it is. Why would it be anything else? I think we're going to stop the attacks for the moment. You guys still have another, like, 40 days. Another 50 days, actually, until you can actually go for your attack. And we're sinking some American ships. Fantastic. If we sink the entire American Navy, for example, we can just naval invade the United States and really have nothing to fear from them. I don't know why. I mean, it's worth five victory points. You are also worth five. You are worth one. So that sticks down here. So I guess I'm looking at about 11 victory points in total. Wait, no. You're worth five. So we're looking at 16 victory points in total. Red Army. Yeah, you're just holding on for now. How many troops do you have down here? 10, 18 to 40, which is really a incredibly large range. For you to not know the exact number of men you have. The one victory point here was worth 1%. Okay, I mean, that might not sound very impressive, and I agree, it's it's actually very much not. I mean, we should be able to invade. I guess I want to clear Britain too early. Unless they declare war on me first, which I guess could also theoretically happen. Um, they can do it in like 70 days. I can do it about 10 days faster than that. But that's if the United, if the United Kingdom actually focuses on attacking me, which is... Uh, different question you know what you guys need to go in the front lines you guys actually surrounded uh by Petrograd troops Like, this would be such a good pocket that I just want to close off. We lost eight convoys to some Russian submarines. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so to get better decryption. Um... Let's go for rocket sites. I don't think are really that good. But my goal right now is essentially trying to close this pocket. And if we can encircle all of these troops, then that would be absolutely golden.
And we're close. If we can take here and here, that's an encirclement of all of these troops. But unfortunately, they're actually pulling their, pushing their way pretty far into our territory, which is a little bit worrying. Nine. There we go. We have finished the encirclement. These guys are now kind of in their own separate bubble. Um, first things first. Uh, a handful of you do need to be on this border still. And I... Th yeah, I mean, I, I think this is good. It's a pretty large encirclement, so it's going to take us a while to kind of, you know, overall clean it up. All of you guys right here are on this front. Is Russia close? They're 34%. How have they gone less capitulated? They must take back one of these cities. Actually, I'm not too sure how they've been, how they're higher now. No, but we shall see. National focus ready. I guess we we'll go for destroyers. Oh, because they're trying to like encircle the entire thing. Which is ridiculous. He's got encircle. Why does it? What? Well, why do you? Why do you do this? I legitimately do not understand why it, it wants to uh, change direction so like drastically. But they're they're immediately already like low supply. Oh, they immediately close off the, uh, the gap. There we go. And it screwed up my yellow line again. The absolute bastards. Okay, well, that sucks. How many? How much longer do you have? You have once it's eighty-one, we'll start justification on the United Kingdom. Because at that point, um, it takes ten days. As soon as the justification. Justification's ready. We can declare war and immediately invade. That is what makes the most amount of sense to me. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to wait, call you some down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.